Well, here we go again. The House of Parliament has essentially introduced new lockdown measures for people who work in the Palace of Westminster. Now, a few days ago, the House authorities came to say that we need to probably have mandatory face masks for all the people who work in the Palace of Westminster, the staffers and all the maintenance people, apart from the members of Parliament, because apparently MPs are immune, but all the other staffers uh, have to be, uh, well, stopped from creating a new wave of new cases. This is now going too far because they're now saying we should essentially have our own mini lockdown in Parliament. Well, yes, hello everybody, welcome to today's first quick um, upload in terms of uh, what's going on in the swamp that is Westminster politics. We now have the latest, yesterday, this news came out and apparently they, they're now com completely discussing even more measures to somehow try to stop a new wave of new cases, despite the fact that everybody essentially in, in Parliament is uh, double jabbed and uh, they're already uh, following a lot of the measures. We already had Freedom Day months ago and the government said everything's okay. You know, Freedom Day is the last time we're going to do any of these idiotic measures because we have everything under control. Apparently that's not really true because now MPs staff have been told to work from home. What, for three weeks to protect the NHS, to flatten the curve maybe? It's only three weeks, I guess. But they haven't actually said how long because they've said that MPs should begin to do social distancing again. Not really sure why. You've seen the daily cases that's actually collapsing. They're going down every single day, overall, uh, day by day, and also um, on, in terms of weekly as well. But MPs should socially distance. But not only that, the staff should start to work from home. These are the new guidelines that are uh, starting because apparently it's the Westminster bubble that creates new waves of new cases. What's, what's going on here? I'm not really sure exactly what the whole point of this is. Is it some sort of defense mechanism? Because you guys have been so uh, hypocritical that a lot of people have been lashing out at the, 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 well, the political class who uh, walk around without face masks, telling everybody else to do face masks. They do all this theater in front of camera, but not behind closed doors. Is it because of that? Are you guys being defensive? Also, why is it that it's only a, technically affecting the staffers? Though they have to stop working from home, despite the fact that Boris Johnson, the Chancellor Rishi Sunak, and Sajid Javid himself as Health Secretary have said that it's actually bad for the economy. We need to encourage people to go and work uh, in offices again, not to work from home because it's actually creating a bad uh, culture overall long term. The House of Commons has instructed the chairs of select committees to enforce social distancing in their meetings after a health and safety body ruled that the health and safety body is now completely going to be going against the, the, the science that the government have been pretending to be following apparently. That's not really true. That's not what, what's been going on. As I said, the facts show something else. Cases actually are already going down anyway, even if at time, because we were expecting November, well, late October and November to get worse. We might, we might have a situation because of the flu and everything else uh, to have cases going up and down. That's just how winter is with the airborne viruses and the way the, the NHS is so incompetent as a model. Then we go, yeah, we're going to have some issues. Every year, every winter, there's a crisis. It's nothing new. But you've already told everyone to, to be double jabbed. Some of them are taking the, the third one, the booster. Then what? If you're saying that your jabs don't even work and that we should just stay at home anyway, apart from MPs, because again, MPs are somehow magically protected, then what's the point of all this? Let's just completely shut down the whole society then. Just completely create anarchy at this point. This is bad and we have to call it out. That's what we are doing here on this channel. Uh, the, the next few videos, we're going to give you quick updates on all the radical stuff that's been happening in uh, today's Westminster news. But the main updates, which will be on the main channel, I'll give you the uh, news uh, overall within the next uh, couple of hours. But thanks again for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.